Hi everyone and Merry Christmas today and I hope today is very special with all your family and your friends as we celebrate this very special moment. Um, I was going to just shoot, shoot this short video outside on the mountain but it's very windy so I jumped back in my car. I was pondering this one verse this morning and I just thought I'd share it and you can use it over the lunch tables today and just if you like but it comes out of Isaiah 9 6. It says for unto us a child is born and to us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Just three things I was pondering, meditating on this morning as we celebrate today. Jesus, firstly, it says here, um, a child is, uh, for unto us a child is born. Jesus, the Son of God, the King of Kings, one of the greatest in all the universe, could have arrived in a lot of pomp and with his whole army, but he comes as a child. He comes as a humble child, firstly to serve. Jesus arrived in this earth as a humble child to serve and to save the lost. Number two, a son is given. I think for those of us who are parents, I think one of the most difficult things any parent to face is to lose a child. And here our Heavenly Father gives His Son to give the ultimate sacrifice that you and me may have hope, that you and me may be forgiven. I mean, what an incredible sacrifice to be given. John 3.16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only son. And here the heavenly father gives his only son so that you and me may have life. And then it says here, his name is Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. The third thing I was pondering here is Jesus' name is wonderful. It's beautiful. He's precious and magnificent in every single one of his attributes and characteristics. He's magnificent in all aspects. He's beautiful and he's wonderful. Now, I don't know where you are in your walk with God today. Maybe you don't know Jesus and you've never um, got to know him for various reasons. Maybe you are a believer, but your relationship with God isn't strong or you know there's room for improvement. Wherever you are in your walk with God today, I want to encourage you. Just give some thought about, give some thought today about how you want to live your life and for whom you want to live your life. And make every effort to make a one step closer. Take a step closer to God. Take a step closer to what He wants you to do with your life in this earth. We celebrate a very special person today. A magnificent King. A magnificent Savior. And give some thought today about how you want to live your life and for whom you want to live your life. Let's just pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for coming. We celebrate you today. Father God, thank you for giving your Son. And I just pray, God, that each one of us would live our lives in a way that would bring your name honor and glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Have an absolutely wonderful day today and lots of love from all of us. Cheerio.